Obviously, the past uh, nearly 24 hours have been heavy, heavy on the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, the Marshal Service, but heavy on our community and heavy on our country. That is Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Chief Johnny Jennings speaking out after four law enforcement officers were killed and four others hurt in a shooting that took place yesterday. Governor Cooper has joined the police chief and the Charlotte mayor this morning for an update. CBS 17's Bria Hollingsworth is in studio with this new information. Bria. Bill Liz, the Charlotte Mecklenburg police chief speaking in a press conference this morning. He released the names of the eight people hurt. Four of them died. Those officers are Sam Pelochi, Alton Elliott, Joshua Iyer, and Thomas Weeks. We're told out of the four officers injured, three of them have been released from the hospital. One had to undergo surgery and is still in the hospital at this time. Now, this all comes after members of the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force went to a home to serve a warrant yesterday on a convicted felon for having an legal weapon. Police say that's when the suspect opened fire on officers who returned fire and shot and killed the suspect. Governor Cooper also spoke at today's press conference. Dangerous assignments are part of the job, but they step up and do it anyway to protect our communities and protect our families. Now, the police chief says the home is still being processed. He says they have well over 100 projectiles and casings that they have to go through. They also recovered an AR-15 and a 40 caliber handgun from the home. Now, there were also two women inside of the home at the time of the shooting. Police did not give details on their involvement, but we're told that they are cooperating with police. The chief says 12 CMPD officers fired the, their weapons and have been placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. Bill, Liz. Tragic loss of life. All right, Brea, thanks so much.